This is the best podcast intro of all time, I think, oh. so far. Oh, yeah. Remember, kids, sluts aren't real people. They're objects. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, my favorite Cyberpunk 2077 activity. I just go to I just go to places with joy toys and I just mentally abuse them. <laughs> So you are not a real person, by the way. You're an, you're an object. <laughs> you're a fucking object. You're an object. You are literally an inanimate object. <laughs> My television has more personality and, like, <laughs> rights than you do. <laughs> so what was the shit you were saying about Coca-Cola and cocaine? Yeah, no. So I was like, what? How would, how would that go nowadays? Like, mixing Coke and cocaine... And you were like, "Well, wouldn't it dissolve?" And I got to thinking, "Well, it's like a it's like a powder." Yeah, because isn't cocaine like crystallized or some shit? Like, like it's when like you sugar, do, when right? you do like a rail of coke, it's like a powder because oh, you it's got a to powder. Crush it. It's initially thought, like a crystal, I think, but okay. you're supposed to if you're snorting coke. I don't actively coke, do you cocaine, like, so I don't really know. You like crush it because <laughs> I wouldn't know per se, but I would assume it's I do the have same a friend we could phone. kind of process <laughs> as doing pills. Where like you you would have to crush it up into something fine enough that you can Mix like it. snort it oh. without, and I if it like, if it's that fine, it might just dissolve in liquid. But I don't know if that would give you the same effect as the like, only reason I okay. know what meth looks like is because of is because um, you're a Kansas resident and it's our <laughs> number one drug. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but no, um, fucking uh, what's that show called? Breaking Bad. Yeah, Breaking Bad. That's the only reason I know what meth looks like is because of Breaking Bad. I don't do like meth, cocaine, or opiates. I don't do any of that stuff. Cook for someone, and they're like, "Yeah, so what? What was your first experience with meth?" And you just have to tell the guy you're working for, "Yeah, my first experience with meth was Breaking Bad." Yeah, it's like, how do you know Um, how to cook meth? Well, I just watched Breaking Bad. That's how I know. I just got every detail. Looked at Breaking Bad. Yeah, I got my recipe from Breaking Bad. (laughs) Yeah, I took a Mr. White's class in chemistry. Man, that motherfucker will really teach you everything. Chemistry, uh, business, yeah. humanities. <laughs> humanities. He'll teach you how to commit violent acts. This fucking crackhead and his 50 pizza rolls. I love how willy you were to just bite that shit raw. You just ate half of that fucking pizza roll and went, ah, it's still cold. No response or anything. It wasn't even like you bite it and you're like, oh, fuck, that's cold. It's it's still cold. Eats half the fucking pizza roll. (laughs) What else does it say? There's like ice crystals still on that shit as it's traveling into your stomach right now. Yeah, it's just loaded with meth. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do with the meth? Well, you see, I put it in my pizza rolls. <laughs> Would you, where'd you put the meth? The I put it in pizza rolls. <laughs> that's how. That's how you evade the feds nowadays. You just put your. You just put the product in pizza rolls. <laughs> we had a noise complaint coming over here, and uh, somebody said you guys might have like a meth lab somewhere no sir we're just eating some pizza rolls <laughs> we're just we're just eating pizza rolls <laughs> one of your guys is just like lying there on the table flopping like a fucking fish <laughs> <laughs> is this his usual activity yeah he just uh no no this is normal he just really fucking likes pizza rolls man he it's kind of a fiend for the pizza rolls bro this little okay so these are eight fluid ounce bottles right and for those who know proper math it's 237 milliliters um (laughs) but i it's a six it's it's a little six pack thing the glass bottles five dollars and 88 cents before tax yeah walmart kind of fucked up bro that i thought glass was supposed to be cheaper than aluminum (laughs) No, because it looks better. I'm a sucker for aesthetics. Fucking corpos, I guess. Doesn't doesn't the glass bottles though have like more sugar in them? Uh, I think the ingredients. Yeah, there might be a little bit more sugar. 
Because glass bottles are like Coke classic, even though sometimes they're not really. Carbonated water. Name differently. Syrup, caramel color. Not just ca- not caramel, caramel color. Um, phosphoric acid. What? Natural <laughs> flavors. Caffeine. That's the... That's- this, those are the ingredients. I love it when Cola. I just get a little bit of Willy Pete in my fucking drink. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I know that Coca Cola's got like their secret recipe, but doesn't the FDA require them to put more than just like the minimum, like, just like I think barely it is, anything? It's it's bold of you to assume that corporations don't just like abuse every possible loophole to get out of doing that all that's, the fucking time. That's true. Never mind. <laughs> Fucking corpos. <laughs> fucking corpos. Spoiler alert. Fucking Rebecca dies. You can't just drop that on the... <laughs> you can't just drop that live on air. What the fuck is wrong with you? Live on air. Spoilers, man. You wanna, you wanna yeah, man. I even have my own bottle opener because I'm such a fucking shit. Yeah. Well, I do too. It's off my back. That's wild. Mine's on my keys. Free dime, by the way. Free dime, by the way. Damn, I fucked that up badly. Never mind. I'm great. Save the caps for the apocalypse. I kind of want. You know what I want? The one thing I want out of Bethesda, because they're never going to give me a good video game again. I want... I want branded Sunset Sarsaparilla from New Vegas. I want to know what the fuck Sunset Sarsaparilla tastes like. Because I I think it's described in the game as like root beer or some shit. Yeah, like a two-finger... I always say like a two to three finger rule for the microphone. It's generally what I've figured out. So yeah, this definitely has more sugar in it. I can just immediately. Yeah, you can it. taste it. I'm guarantee it's more sugar inside the glass bottles. Flying around. Oh yeah, there's a flyer bug or something that's been in here, and I haven't been able to get. Like I had the back door open, and it flew it in, doesn't and I was leave. just like, "Fuck!" And no now I've been trying. I just. It lives here now. New room and unlocked. Yeah. <laughs> it's still tick. It should be fine. Why, why is that stuff? <laughs> you well, just leave timer, it. Well, you just I, leave it on. We fucking leave. You come back. Your house is just a ball of fucking flames. It's gone. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, I fried the whole building. It's okay. Insurance will pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think insurance will pay for people. <laughs> sure they will it's called life insurance <laughs> you ask your fucking insurance agency like, yeah can I get two new roommates, <laughs> as well? two new roommates? Like, I kind of lost mine in the in the fire <laughs> god damn that shit is smoking visibly oh it's so good dude so, pizza rolls so in the air fryer is the best bro so, oh, so good what the fuck <laughs> flavor of pizza rolls or these anyway. Purple heat. I go, what? <laughs> out, out of all the out of all the flavors you could have you could have picked you picked fucking tri- triple, triple cheese? cheese? Yeah, triple cheese. What? You're a fucking monster, dog. What? The triple cheese is good. You're a you're a monster. Go suck a dick. <laughs> You know what, motherfucker? Maybe crotch I goblin. Will. <laughs> I'm gonna start fat shaming you <laughs> every day. <laughs> no need. I do it to myself enough already. <laughs> Anxiety's got you got me covered, bro. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it, dude. Depression already has me in the bag. Don't even. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. I already wake up every morning looking like a fat lard and telling myself I can't do this. 
I wake up every morning and I feel gravity just pressing me down to my bed. And I'm like, you know what? I could actually just lay here until I die. <laughs> like that, that is gravity wasn't a thing. My meat sack wouldn't be pulling down and causing stretch marks. I'm just sitting here like, man, you know, I could just, I could just let gravity pin me here until I'm just a carcass. Bro, look at that golden brown. That shit is pretty fucking crisp. That, I think these are actually. Pizza rolls are the best in the air fryer, bro. Fucking try one. I think these are the most visibly appealing Ooh. pizza rolls I've ever seen. Hear that crunch? <laughs> bro. Are we going to become like, like fucking Nick Akato Avocado? We're just going <laughs> to. Next episode is just going to be a fucking mukbang at your table. <laughs> nah, dude, we're all about that bukkake. <laughs> we need like a thumbnail for one of these videos, and it's just <laughs> somebody covered in fucking like cheese. <laughs> pizza roll bukkake. Yeah, just title of the bukkake episode: Salty Pizza Roll. Salty. <laughs> What kind of fucking analogy is that? Like, what what body part would you describe as a pizza roll? <laughs> you never heard of like a soggy cookie? You know what that is? the The only soggy food I've ever heard of in in the context I think we're using is like we're talking about a soggy sex biscuit and porn. No, okay, a soggy biscuit. Well, a soggy biscuit and a soggy cookie is the same fucking thing, to my knowledge. It's where a bunch of guys jizz all over a cookie, and then one has to eat it. <laughs> The last person Damn, to come on the cookie has out, to eat I've the I've been cookie. missing out the whole fucking game. Yeah. You could have played Soggy Cookie and not Soggy Biscuit. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, to my knowledge, it's the same fucking thing. It's just, but yeah, it's the last dude that jizzes on it has to eat it. <laughs> so, Soggy Pizza Roll. <laughs> yeah, I remember one time... Um, way back in the day, I, uh, me and a couple of my friends, we, uh, we ran this poor kid for like, I really don't want to know the story now, no. considering what we just talked no, about. No, we didn't actually like, Me and do this it one to guy him. did soggy cookie no, together. No, no, we didn't actually do it to him, but me and, me and the boys ran this one poor bastard for 50 bucks because he kept getting beat in basketball and we were like, all right, look, you keep losing. We're going to run fucking soggy biscuit. And <laughs> if you lose... <laughs> You're going to eat the biscuit. And he was like, I will do literally anything to avoid this. And we were like, okay, give us 50 bucks right now. And he handed up the guap and then we never talked to him again. We did. Where did you legitimately, you just did not call your bluff. No. He was no, like, oh shit, this guy's was, serious. I, I think this kid was a little bit, a little bit on the slow side. And we were just like, yeah, man, we, we will make you run soggy biscuit. Don't fuck around. And we, he was like, all right, look. Let me give you 50 bucks. To Just straight up abused a kid with autism. Yeah, basically. <laughs> here, bro. I've heard some wild shit just from the taxi drivers, like, here in this fucking town. There's I didn't even know we here. had a taxi, like, service here in town. There's a dude here. Like, do you remember the Temple OS guy? Mm-hmm. Fucking, like, Terry Davis? Probably. He's He was the guy who had that fucking quote. The, the CIA... They glow in the dark. You can see him when you're driving. Just run him over. That's what you do. <laughs> that fucking guy. I you've probably never heard that quote. You'll, no. you'll just have to look him up at some point. Okay. Anyway, that fucking guy, he died. But there's a guy here who looks and sounds just fucking like him, and he's a taxi driver. And mm. there was another guy here. I Suspicious. rode with him back um, to my house one time, and I, I look over in, in his fucking like door little holder, and he just has the the fucking that little bulb on from the back of a car mm-hmm. with like a rope around it <laughs> in his fucking door for self defense. And and I, I guess he saw me looking over at it and he tells me this fucking story about like um <laughs> he bought a ring off of some homeless guy <laughs> and he like let him in his house. And the homeless guy like stole from him, ripped him off from the ring, and he's sitting there driving me back to my fucking house. And he just goes, "Yeah, I, I consider just fucking hitting him with it, like killing him." And then I was like, "He he was like, yeah." But then I was thinking about it, and I was like, "It's probably not worth the trouble." He fuck he fucking tells me, and I'm just sitting here like, "Uh huh, <laughs> okay." 
okay. <laughs> like, like I keep looking at it. Like, so if I, if I like, don't give you a tip, like, are you just gonna, you just gonna fucking murder like, me? Like, are you just gonna hit me in the back of the head with that as I'm, as I'm popping out for the seven fifty? No, because like, because like, I hand them ten because it's easier to get hundreds broken up into just tens. So like, I mm-hmm. hand the taxi guy ten, and then they pay me back like two and a quarter or like three sometimes if they're feeling nice or if they're you know fucking senile because a lot of them are old so (laughs) so like i get the money back unless i want to tip them but it's like sometimes i i look over and i feel like some of them just consider taking the ten and just not saying anything and i'm like i feel like i might respect you more if you had the balls to just not say anything and take the ten (laughs) He's like, fuck this bitch. I'm keeping this. Like, I probably would not even care if if I handed you a 10 and you just didn't pay me back, like, the two fucking dollars. I'm like, yeah, sure. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I'm, I'm not, like, fuck this confrontation. I'm good. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't I don't want any beef. And, like, you probably need the tips anyway because everybody in this town's fucking broke as shit. Mm-hmm. So. And again, maybe they do make pretty good money because those motherfuckers are always busy. I honestly didn't know there was like a taxi service here in town. There's like two of them, but only one of them's any good. They seem to just not schedule anything at all. So like some nights they'll have like five motherfuckers at like around this time of night mm-hmm. or like or like when I'm trying to head into work. And then sometimes they'll have one guy and he's like 15 miles out because somebody needed to like leave town. And I'm like, what the fuck? Jesus. Why do you just have no one scheduled? <laughs> like the setup is so fucking weird. I've just never understood. I feel like our town just doesn't fucking need it. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of people, especially like in the apartments where I live, like a lot of people just don't have a car apparently, so they just <laughs> use the taxi. But like, this is the most homoerotic <laughs> thing ever done on a <laughs> podcast ever. <laughs> I was trying to shove a pizza roll in your this mouth, but it was not to working. Shove a pizza roll in my in my face, like some kind of like trying to feed a fucking zoo animal, and you just fucking poke it at. Come on! <laughs> it's like Eat trying the to fucking pizza like roll. Trying to feed like a fucking lion in an enclosure. You're just like, uh, uh, come on. Come on. lions not even putting up with your shit. Just like, dude, leave me the fuck alone. Honestly, I feel like that would either be the best or worst existence to have in the fucking world. It's just be like an animal in a zoo. I feel like it, it would suck. No, nah, because it, like, it depends on how dangerous you are. Because if, 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 you, yeah, no, if you aren't shit, then like the, the fucking zoo workers and everybody that comes in, they're just going to clown on you constantly. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like a penguin, that's going to be the worst life ever in a fucking zoo. But if you're like a lion or like a, or like a shark or some shit, that's going to be wild. They stuck a uh, they stuck a GPS tracker on a shark, and it swam around the North Atlantic and like vaguely drew a shark. And some guy on Twitter was like, "Yeah, that checks out. I guess if I was a shark, I do feel like my one thought that I would have to convey is, I am a shark. <laughs> I am a shark. Yeah, like like you give a shark like a like a fucking TTS engine, and it's just like, oh, yeah, I'm I'm a shark. I want to give a shark LSD." I think you would. I think it would die. <laughs> I think if nah. you had a shark like start tripping, it would stop moving and then it would just die. Oh yeah, that's true. If a shark starts moving, they die. Like if you gave a shark like weed, <laughs> just mellow him like, out. Like theoretically, if you could give a shark like like a blunt, just, just fat reefer, okay, a shark would stop moving and then it would just die yeah, because, because the they shark need to keep moving. Yeah, they need to keep moving. <laughs> I want to see a shark on like crack cocaine. <laughs> he starts like no clipping through objects. <laughs> just full air. He's like halfway just through the glass, air, halfway yeah. not. <laughs> no clips through the glass, snags a child, goes back in. <laughs> the fuck happened to my kid? Well, you see, man, we gave the shark crack cocaine before its performance and, um, he clipped through the wall. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> clipped through the wall. Stole your kid. Ate him. Jesus Christ. Killed that kid instead. You're, you're going to have to create a new child. That's all I'm going to tell you. Because uh, that, one's, that one's gone. You're not getting it back.
Ooh, that was nice. Do it again. <laughs> that was way fucking worse. That's why I wanted you to do it again. So you were gonna fuck it up this. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> well, fuck, it's not like I wasn't already. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> it's fucking 3 a.m. You're just laying there face up in your bed like, damn, I really, I really need to go to sleep. And then you just hear from your fucking living room just a train horn. <laughs> <laughs> I like trains. <laughs> all aboard and you're just like oh man this fucking guy again god damn it that's the kind of shit you would you would think about in like a steampunk dystopia it's like you have a house and then literally just right next to your house like within inches is just a train oh, you're, yeah. just, you're just fucking sleeping there in your bed and then hey, you how do you think they feel in New York board? True, you're right. <laughs> like, truly, bro. There's some apartments in New, New York, York that are like just legitimately right next to the fucking train. Truly, New York is the modern cyberpunk dystopia. Yeah, just basically, we have a, a a dystopian like cityscape that's like perfect. That majority of every single like sci-fi fantasy super mega metropolis city is based off of is fucking either. Tokyo or New York, which which one would you rather live in? Tokyo, definitely Tokyo. I was gonna say their infrastructure and like their roadways are way better well, I, off. I was gonna say that one of the biggest L's about Tokyo is just like the people. Oh, <laughs> you're yeah. gonna stick out like a store some fucking forever in Tokyo, and it's yeah. never gonna go away. So you're <clears> just gonna be getting clowned on constantly by everybody in the street. You know, I'm cool with that because I won't know what they're saying. <laughs> How are you going to live? You don't even know what they're fucking saying. You're just living on the dude, streets. Dude, I lived in Korea for 18 months and I never learned Korean. <laughs> and I managed to get by everywhere because you know why? Because Koreans are made to learn English when they're in school. And like middle, basically they're equivalent to like middle school. They start learning English. Your average Japanese person just has to know. I have English. Google Translate, motherfucker. I don't need to know another language. We have technology. How bad do you think someone in Tokyo would clown on you if you walked into their fucking like corner shop and you just kind of hold up your phone and <laughs> just hit Google Translate on that bitch with your whole? I did. I did it in Korea every single time. I went you into a corner store. That down. Never, bro. I just, I gave no fucks. I knew English and only English, and I was not bothered to learn another language. It's just sitting in like could not be bothered. Idiot learning our language. And he's just like, I don't care. <laughs> I did not give a shit. I'm sure it's nice. I don't give a shit. Oh shit.